city in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze and it looks like we got some riveting news from the towns. So let's get right into it. Now the last time we spoke about Gotti Blue, he was trying to run up 400k through that chase glitch. Posted the receipts and everything. I didn't think that was the best thing to do when it comes to the internets and self-incriminating yourself, but hey, that's what he did. But recently, it looks like a fan went viral by releasing some DMs from Gotti Blue, seemingly asking him for a hundred dollars. I want you people to look at your screen. Look at your screen. The DM reads, you can't send me a blue real quick. And the fan answers, a hundred? Gotti says, yeah, I'ma send it back, gang. The fan replies, hold on, cause I got bills, gang. And Gotti replies, I'ma send it back, gang. I'm not a foul person. And the fan responds by stating, See, Blue can't give it to you. I'm low-key about to pay my rent right now. I'm not going to hold you. Bringing up Christopher Blue was diabolical. But it continues. You got me? You know what's so crazy? I. Right. So I'm guessing Gotti Blue is just like pissed off at this point that he didn't send that 100 through. And the fan speaks on it saying, Gotti Blue, he asked me for 100. He's popped but wearing designer. Word to my daughter, he asked me for bread. Now after this went viral all over the internet, people started saying, what's going on with these guys? Douglas Bernard Jr. has claims of stealing from fans. Christopher Blue was accused of not paying for the feature and running off with somebody's money. And now they got DMs of Gotti Blue asking for 100. Now my thing is this, what exactly did he need the 100 for? And why did he ask a random fan? You know, like I'm not gonna hold you just to save face. I'm asking all types of family members and friends first before I get to the internet and DM a random fan for a hundred beans, B. I ain't gonna hold you. Cause you know they gonna use that against you at some point. You know it. And that's my thing too. It's not even like Gotti Blue is trying to offer a service. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, let me get a hundred beans. Whoop the whoop, whatever you trying to promo, I'll throw it up in my stories. Or You know what I'm saying? Like an exchange of value. Gotti was just like, yo, I'm going to get it back to you. I ain't going to hold you. If I was that random fan, I wouldn't trust it either. But when the fan said, why don't you just ask Christopher Blue, that was diabolical. That was, that was rude. Because the truth is, what if he did ask C. Blue and C. Blue said the same exact shit? I'm paying bills. I ain't got it right now. This is why you need some shorties. I ain't gonna hold you. You down bad a little bit, you just text shorties up, man. Yo, baby, you give me 50. Hit the other one up. Yo, you give me 40. Hit shorty up that got three kids. Can't really, you know, just drop bread like that. Yo, baby, you give me 10. Yo, we got $100 right there. We lit. That's when you tell shorty things like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna have all the rent this month, baby. You know what I'm saying? You can hold me down, feel me? Like, all I need is probably like a good, like, just give me like a good seven, you know what I'm saying? Six, I got you, you feel me? And the truth is the whole time you got the rent, like you got the bread for the rent, but now you could get yourself some sneakers, you know what I'm saying? The Zy packs, the sprayed on kind. There's all type of things you could do at that point. But all jokes aside, I'm not sure what he needed the hundred for, but he did say he was gonna give it back, you feel me? I just found it funny how he got a little mad at the end, like, I. Right. I was like, what you, what you mad at me for? I don't got the hundred. <laughs> you don't got a hundred, and I don't got a hundred to give you. We both don't got a hundred, my nigga. Like, what, you, what do you want from me? But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. <laughs> This so gaming, that shit never phase me. I be chilling, don't know why they hate me. No lack in the streets, I be told no okay, case. me and I'm quick to react like Swayze. I'm too different. Fuck these goofies, I'm stacking my chicken. I'm chatting these niggas, some bitches. We send niggas back home with some stitches.